Uh, do I have to? I don't feel guilty about any of the music I listen to. I don't really have a guilty player. I'm pretty open with what I like. Like I tell people what I like, and even though, even if it's like the most hated thing in the world. I don't really feel guilty about the music that I like. Um, life's too short for that. I don't know if I feel guilty, but I I really love Poppy's album. I disagree, and I'll, I'll jam that shit all the time. I'm not really guilty about any of it. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll plead the fifth on that one. Probably just like TLC or something like that. Because, you know, gotta love those classics. Your guilty pleasure is TLC. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Love it. I love Toro y Moi. I love Empire of the Sun. I love German techno rapper Finch. Not to be confused with the indie alternative band Finch. Um, I love uh, rap J.I.D. Um, but I don't feel guilty about it, so. Like, but if I had to pick one, um, I'll pick this because it's outside of the rock genre. I'm a Backstreet Boys fan. I fucking love Backstreet Boys. But I've been listening to, like, old Nintendo 64 music, which is weird. It's just video game music, but I grew up with it, so it's kind of like a nostalgia trip. So I can't even lie. My biggest guilty pleasure band is One Direction. <laughs> I didn't even get into One Direction until I was, like, 17 so, they go so hard though, so hard. One is definitely Bobby Brown <clears throat> and New Edition, which Bobby Brown was in New Edition. Um, Hall and Oates, the 1975, I don't know, there's a bunch of them. Taylor Walker Jr., sir. I'm a big fan of his, personally. I'm not a country guy. He does it for me. Two Door Cinema Club, Phoenix, and uh, Dance Gavin Dance is a new one for me. Uh, Katy Perry, hands down. I'm a Katy cat, through and through. Aqua Barbie Girl, but that's because I just love pop songs. I, that's what I. That's what got me into music. That's what I've always loved, and I like a good melody and a hook. And if it's just a dumb four on the floor song. It can still have a really good hook. Tech Nine would definitely be my guilty pleasure. John Bellion, uh, just because, like, he makes people think, feel things lyrically that I don't think a lot of people could do. He also, like, um, puts a lot of sounds in there. He mixes all of his own things, and he puts a lot of sounds and beats and everything in there that, that are very original and that, like, um, you haven't really heard before, so it feels like kind of a breath of fresh air to your ears. Um, along with that, I really enjoy uh, Matt Mason. He's a great solo artist, and um, I really enjoy like how he plays his guitar as well as his lyricism. Um, I think he's a very, very good artist as well. I think my right now is Jason Isbell. The dude is just a phenomenal lyricist. MCR, My Chemical Romance, baby. <laughs> it wasn't a, just a face. T Swizzle and Alanis <laughs> Morris. That Taylor Swift. I'm a Swifty. Probably Hannah Montana. I am a Hannah Montana girl. <laughs> but um, specifically the song Butterfly Fly Away that always gets me emotional, maybe a tear or two, but I'm not that guilty about it. Kelly, Kelly Clarkson. Halsey, Katy Perry, all those. I love all those. Madonna. I think what I gravitate towards uh, more than anything is is like 80s synth pop. Probably my guilty pleasure would have been Duran Duran, I would say. Leo Moricholi, the uh, Frog Leap Studios, dude. A uh, bunch of metal covers, dude. Uh, Africa by Toto. Um, Megan The Stallion. I have to give that one to Lady Gaga. Good one, too. She goes hard in the paint. I'm an old school metalhead, I guess. Uh, my all time favorite, uh, probably Skid Row. I'm a huge fan of Skid Row. I'm a really big fan of Megadeth, so I like that old thrashy, old rock stuff. So. Whitney Houston. I like to listen to this group called uh, Bill Murray. Uh, B I L M U R I. It is a very poppy, sort of like radio friendly mix with metal thing going on super cool 
Eve 6, Cher, Alanis Morissette. Breaking Benjamin is more of my rock type uh, guilty pleasure. I'll always be a huge fan of those guys. Definitely Young Gravy. I've been to way too many of his concerts with my sister. Well, I like all the old guys, the Kiss, the Stones, the Thin Lizzy. I always got to keep up with all those guys. And when I get guilty in the deep purple, when I don't feel good, I go back and listen to all of them and kind of evaluate where, where my own music has took me over the years. But I never compare it. I just smile and go on. With everything I listen to, I don't know, Bob Marley. I, I like metal. I don't like much else. <laughs> <laughs>